All right, in this is tutorial three. We're going to create a couple of axle pads to keep our wheels a bit away from the bottom of this wheel well. Do that by selecting this bottom face, opening up the sketch, change back to a wireframe mode, and we're going to create an ellipse. The dimensions of this ellipse will be 24 this way, <clears throat> and 12 for the semi-minor axis. Now to get that dimension you need to right mouse button and choose semi-minor axis. Change that to 12 and we'll make a coincident constraint between the axle support hole and the center of the ellipse. Make that coincident and OK. Now rather than doing this twice and making two pads, we're going to apply these same constraints onto a second ellipse and pad them both at the same time. We could have done the same thing with the axle holes if we had drawn them as circles and not using the hole command. Since we used the hole command, we did that twice. Geometric constraint, coincident, and OK. We can exit this workbench and we're going to pad this, these uh, items. We want to go in two directions, so we'll choose the more icon. The first dimension is going to be three millimeters. And we need to make sure that the arrow is pointing up, so the pad will go up three millimeters. Now we want it to go in the other direction as well to the XY plane. So we'll choose up to plane and then XY off the navigation tree. And this ensures on the front axle support that it goes all the way through. Say OK. And we'll switch to a shaded view just to see how that looks. So you can see on the back axle support it doesn't matter, but on the front one it goes all the way through now, giving us nice support. That is creating our axle supports. Next is tutorial four.